Welcome back to my channel. I'm Leah and today my daughter and I are going to be bringing you guys along as we organize our kitchen cabinets. Now this project is especially difficult. I think if you have older cabinets like ours, our space is very limited and so this was a project that was desperately overdue and so we are so excited to bring you guys along as we implement some new organization in this kitchen. Of course, the first task is to completely empty out everything in these cabinets. Now thankfully, back a few months ago when we rebuilt the lower cabinets in here, I took the time to repaint and organize all of our lower cabinets. So today we're just going to be focusing on the uppers, but at the end I will show you a tour of our lower cabinets as well. I could not believe how many spices I had that were expired and not just a little expired. I mean, I had spices that were over two years expired. So I definitely threw out a lot of spices as I was cleaning out this cabinet and um, I really, really dwindled things down. I probably got rid of two thirds of the spices that I had simply because they were out of date. We just used laundry baskets to hold all of the contents of these cabinets as we were transitioning from cleaning everything out to reorganizing and putting everything back. This just helped us keep everything sort of corralled and organized during the process. This was the perfect opportunity to go ahead and paint the insides of these cabinets. It's something I've been wanting to do for a while. It just makes such a big difference when you open up the doors and everything is clean and fresh. It just feels so much better to have that fresh coat of paint everywhere. Um, I just went with the same shade of paint as the cabinets themselves and I'll be sure to leave those details in the description box below. I was so thankful to have my daughter's help for this project. We kind of had a system going here. She would clean out cabinets and vacuum them out, you know, crumbs and all, and then wipe them down. And then I would come along behind her and be um, painting. And so this really helped the process go a lot quicker than if I was to do this all by myself. Thankfully, she really loves to clean and organize and do all of these things. Crazy, I know, but she really loves it. She definitely takes after me. So I am so excited and so happy to have her help. to let everything dry and cure before I can start organizing and putting things back. I can't tell you how happy I am to have this part done. Uh, it just looks so much better. It feels so much better and I'm definitely glad I took the time to get everything painted inside. Since I already had the paint out in the right color, um, I went ahead and worked on some shelving that I had been wanting to do for a while uh, here in our kitchen. This shelving will go right beside our last cabinet, sort of like an extension of our cabinetry. My goal with this shelving was for it to look like it has always been here. And so I went with some very simple cottage style corbels that I found at Lowe's and then just some regular pine shelving board. Um, I had it cut down at the store just so I could fit it in my car. So it was a really simple project to do. I just came home with everything ready to go, gave everything two coats of paint, and then I sanded it all down just to kind of smooth out that finish a little bit. And then they were ready to go. I did a little shuffling around of our cabinets and I decided to move the glasses over on this side of our kitchen and it just makes more sense to have the coffee mugs and the glasses and everything right near the coffee pot and the refrigerator and then I went ahead and added our plates and bowls to that second cabinet. This is just a much better layout and I think it's going to really help our kitchen just flow better. I went with just some basic shelf liner. This particular kind has like the grip on it, uh, which is really nice. It's really easy to cut down to size and it's especially nice in the cabinets where you keep your dishes, glasses, those kinds of things. Uh, for the shelves where I had the bins that I wanted to be able to easily pull out, I did not use this shelf liner. I just left those plain, um, but this shelf liner works really well and I got this giant roll off of Amazon. It was plenty enough to do all of the lower cabinets as well, so I will link that below if you're looking for something similar.
When it came time to organize these spaces, um, I wanted to make sure that everything fit where I wanted it to go before I started putting the contents in the containers. So I just took the empty containers and kind of played around with everything until I found the best layout for our shelving. And I will tell you that these containers are awesome because they're shorter. And so if you have an older cabinetry like ours and you don't have a ton of shelf space as far as height goes, these are perfect because if you want to stack them you can or if you just want to put them in uh, you know a single row you can do that um, but they're better homes and gardens and we actually found them at Walmart uh, so I will be sure to link those down below as well We have a really awkward uh, corner cabinet here in the kitchen and it's kind of an odd size but it was perfect to keep all of our supplements in. So it's the next day and I'm ready to start adding back some food and pantry items to our cabinetry. Now in the past, I've always used bins to organize snacks and things like that. I just feel like it takes up a lot less space. So the bins we had were, the system was working, but the bins were really on their last leg. They were falling apart and so it was just time to switch those out. These white bins were only a dollar from Dollar Tree and they really worked out well. They're a lot taller than our old ones, but they still fit the cabinetry and we were able to pile more snacks in those bins. So my kids are already used to this system. We do not have an actual pantry. So all of our food items and uh, pantry items, baking items, all of those things are actually stored in our kitchen cabinets. Um, it's not really a big deal to me because I am not one to really stockpile food items. I shop once a week and on this particular day um, I was getting ready to go to the grocery store um, but I did not want to take on this organizing project with a bunch of new groceries in the house. So it was definitely better to wait and get this project done and then bring in the groceries. So that's why you'll see there's really not a whole lot in the cabinets, but there's definitely a lot of extra space for when those groceries come in a little bit later. I use this label maker for everything. It is my absolute favorite one ever. Uh, so when it came time to label things in our kitchen cabinets, I knew this was the way I wanted to go. It has that vintage feel uh, and it requires no batteries, so it's super simple to use and um, I just love it. So I'll leave a link for that as well in the description box below. The shelves are finally finished and I love how they turned out. They are the perfect extension of the cabinetry, which is what my goal was. And I can kind of switch out the accessories on them as I want to, but I wanted to have a place to store like potatoes and uh, apples, bananas, things like that. So that's what the two bottom bins will be used for. And then I also have a place for my diffuser to go. When we did our remodel, we specifically put in that outlet so I could put my Aria diffuser right here on the shelf um, because I just knew that's where I wanted it to go and I'm so glad I made that decision. So it's finally just nice to see it all come together the way I had envisioned it months ago. And now a last look at the layout of these cabinets before I show you the tour of all of the new organization that we have in place. I decided to keep all of our extra food items, things we haven't opened yet, in the cabinet above the refrigerator. It just makes more sense because it's not something I have to access every day. Um, the cabinet here above the coffee maker is where all of the mugs are now and glasses, which I showed you a little bit earlier, along with the cabinet beside that, which has our plates and our bowls and our to-go coffee mugs. These were our food cabinets before, so I don't know what I was thinking, but this is just a much better layout for the flow of our kitchen. This cabinet is where I keep all of our bakeware, casserole dishes, serving dishes, mixing bowls, those kinds of things, along with this cabinet to the right, which stores all of our pots and pans, 
and our toaster and our strainer. Uh, we do have a very minimal kitchen, so I don't really require that much space for all of the things I use. I try to keep things as simple as possible, and um, that just works best for me. It's less to have to keep up with and less to have to maintain. Uh, this drawer here is for all of my spices, so once I got those dwindled down, I had space to keep them all in one drawer. Here's a closer look at our supplement cabinet. I found these organizers at Dollar Tree and then the holder on the bottom where I keep my Vitality oils is actually a nail polish holder and I believe I found that at TJ Maxx a few years back. Um, but this just works out so good. I'm able to categorize our supplements by family member which works out really nicely. Uh, here's a look at our snack cabinet. Again with the bins, a basket just for bread and then I put the cereal here too. Here are our cooking and baking cabinets. So I keep some pantry items and then things like sugar, tea, um, and then the bottom shelf is for lunch making supplies because back to school is hopefully right around the corner. So we're preparing for that. Um, keeping all my baking supplies in one cabinet as well. This is right beside my stove, which again is just a better use of the space. I before had like my coffee mugs here, I believe, so totally did not make sense, but loving this new layout already. This drawer has all of my utensils for cooking. Again, these little organizers are from Dollar Tree, just a dollar each, and you can organize them any way you want in your drawer space. Um, and then the second drawer is also for additional um, utensils, can openers, scissors, those types of things. And then this drawer is where we keep all of our aluminum foil, plastic wrap, uh, baggies, and little bread ties. I decided to use one of these uh, dollar buckets that I found at Dollar Tree to contain all of my weekly cleaning supplies. This makes it so much easier to just grab the bucket and then carry it throughout the house as I need to. I'm um, just to knock out cleaning a little bit quicker. I also keep my extra soaps and other cleaners under here as well. And then this side has um, kitchen towels and then everything I need to clean my sink and also our dishwasher pods, which I'm looking for a better more natural version of those for the dishwasher. So if you have tips for me there, let me know. And lastly, here is a look at our medicine slash first aid cabinet. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you were able to find some new inspiration for your own home and your own kitchen cabinet organization. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up and I would love to have you hit that subscribe button as well so that you don't miss out on future videos. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.